go ahead and, and stand the recording. I want to make sure that it's that. And then, all right, so here we go. Good afternoon, guys. Uh, my name is Claudio, and this is Christian from Santiago, Chile. Uh, let's make a formal introduction from our listeners from the studios in Fairfax City. We are very humble and grateful that uh, BFM accepted our invitation to our show. BFM is an Italian progressive rock founded in 1970. They were the first Italian group to have success international. The group recorded five albums in English lyrics between 1973 and 1977. During this period, they entered both the British and American chart. They have been very successful in, in, Euro, in European and in, in American tours, and especially in South America as, as well. Uh, benvenuto a lo espectacolo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want, and Japan as well. In oh. Japan as well. In Japan as well. That's beautiful. That's, yeah. So how are you guys doing? Fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're here in Milan. And yep. uh, for us, it's six o'clock in the afternoon. Correct. So, uh, I guess it's uh, a lot late, a lot uh, ahead of you. Yeah. It's, I'd, I'd rather be where you are because there's probably sun over there. Over yeah. here is like that. <laughs> here is, is 12 and then Santiago Christian is 2 p.m. Is that correct? Yeah, correct. Exactly. Yes. All right. So, you know, with, with everything that's been with the weird year, with everybody, how you guys do it with the pandemic and, and then how it's affecting your your creativity now that you cannot tour and, and are you guys working the new material, that kind of stuff? Yeah, yeah. fortunately we are working for a new album now. So we are stopping uh, doing concerts. I mean, we can go around because there is a uh, COVID, <laughs> yeah. but we are working on the studio so we are working also if we in we are working anyway yeah we, we work obviously it's not that easy you know because we we can't really move the way we would like to uh, and things like that you know we all we all are in the same situation so we can try to do our best um, but the album is coming out great and uh, so we're very happy about it we see each other almost every day and uh at my, at my place, which is, we have a small studio, a home studio, say, and then we'll go to a regular studio to, we have, we, we did all the basic tracks already, music, music already, uh, so now we have work, we are working on the, the, the lyrics and uh, the voices, so it's not a couple of months and it'll be, it'll be finished. That's beautiful. Uh, we don't care about the, the pandemic because we are working, so we are with the mind, we are not uh, engaged, you know. <laughs> yeah, no, but the fact that you guys can see one another frequently and, you know, during the weekend go to the studio, start recording, that's, that's great. Other bands, they yeah. don't have the opportunity, right? Yeah, right. It's, uh, it's, yeah, this is the way it is, you know, how you can do, there's nothing you can do about it, you know, so let's try to all uh, do our best. Yep. work the right way and try to get out of this thing as soon as possible. Right? Uh, absolutely. Any any of you were born like in family in musical families at all? What sorry, come again? Any any of you were born in a in a musical family where you're either your dad, your mom or your sister yeah, brother yeah, play somehow, instrument? Somehow some uh, many of us did. Uh, Franz did uh, Francis his brother his father was a oboe player. Uh, player, yes. Yeah, oboe play, player, and uh, not my my family. No, no, there's no no musician in my family, but like Marcus Foyer, guitar player, as his mother and his father, which are musicians, very well known musicians too in Italy. You know, uh, uh, Alessandro, our keyboard player, has his, his his father plays piano too as a professional. You know, so it's it's yeah. That's great. Yeah, go, go ahead, Christian. We'll go back and forth between the two of us. Well, uh, hi. First of all, it's an honor. To, hi, hello. it's an honor to say hello from Chile. After so many years listening to your records, essentially on a radio station where I had the good luck to be part of in the 80s, but they began playing uh, Cook and all those records back in the late 70s. So thank you very much for the music that you've made for us and you keep doing uh, okay. that's number one and then i have a few questions as you might imagine uh one of them is uh um give me a second please i'm going to begin uh for the 
latest things. Emotional Tattoos contains uh, several, uh, like four or five minute songs where I feel the band sounds almost like uh, a band from the so-called neo-prog rock bands of the 80s. Like, what's your intention to reach younger audiences and cut, cut off the longer pieces in any manner? I love the album, by the way. <laughs> yeah, we, we never think about those things, you know, when we do a record. Uh, we just play what's, what's, what comes to us, you know, what, what we feel at the moment. And, and if you listen to all the albums of PFM, there's not one album like the other. You know, the, all the albums are different. Everything is different. This is because we never thought that, oh, yeah, we're going to do this because then if we do this, maybe we'll reach this, this kind of audience or this kind of people. Or maybe the record we did, let, let, last record we did had a pretty good success. With, so we're going to do an album which sounds the same way or things like that. We never did that. Uh, we always did the music we like at the moment, what, what we, we care at the moment. And I think this is the reason why after almost 50 years, we're still here because we're not constrained. We never constrain ourselves ourselves to do music uh, the way it should be done, let's say. You know, but we just do it the way we'd like to do it at the moment. For example, the album we're doing right now at, the, at this moment is totally different than Emotional Tattoos. Very, very, very different. This is with our, our crowd, our, our followers, uh, know exactly this uh, is uh, one of the principal way to play for PFM. Change it always because to search, to research, to um, invent, it, I mean, that means that you are growing, always growing. But if you stay in um, in one line in one lane, just uh, this is progressive. So I play progressive for 50 years. It's not impossible. If you play every kind of music for uh, forever, it's not the same. We like to grow up and change because if you change, you have more things to do and more things to play. Okay. Now, uh, some uh, I forgot mentioning that I, I spent a long time. And, and also the, the, uh, the, the people doesn't know exactly what we are doing. So they expect all the times the changing of PFM. Yeah. We did, well, music, we did uh, everything. A lot of our albums talk and speak for us, for our <coughs> way of, in, uh, way of, to be musician. Yeah, I, I have to say that when I saw you here at the Teatro Corpartes, you might remember that back in 2014, yes, I guess. Yes. Uh, I was really amazed to see the energy and how people receive the show. So uh, after all, these radio shows here and there have been doing uh, something good for, for the bands. Uh, I remember, I, I forgot mentioning that I worked on Radio Futuro for some years from 1989 until 1996 and I did play, I had the chance to play whatever I wanted and I did play several tracks for, uh, by PFM. It wasn't a pop station, it was like a proc, proc fusion, you know, avant-garde station. And I, I want to mention you some some of my favorites that I obviously play there, like Photos of Ghost, Il Banqueto, is that the way to say that? <laughs> uh, uh, Dolcissima Maria, what a fabulous uh, story. Maestro de la Voce was a real hit, so I was surprised when I saw you playing that live. And uh, Via Lumiere, yeah, I really yeah, find yeah. it very special because it's so dense in the development, but then the last five minutes are so beautiful and simple. So it's like a contrast. I, 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 it's, maybe you don't like to analyze the way you made music, but to me, it was even close to the Beatles, like Hey Jude, the final you know, song, uh, the, yeah. the final part that repeats over and over again. It's a very beautiful ending. Do you have any special impressions about any of these songs? Well, you know, as, as, as I said before, yeah, you, you said it. You said, I had, the opportunity, I had the opportunity to play whatever I want. This is what you just said, <laughs> but no work, you know? Exactly what we do. Yeah. This is exactly the we same. We play what we like. Yeah, yeah, we have exactly the same approach, you know? So we just, we never analyze what we do. We just do it because we like it. And we leave other people to analyze it. It's always like that. Most of the time it's like that, you know? You never, when you do a record or you are a very, a, a very pop artist, 
So you do a record because you want to reach some things and you want to go to the TV and you want to do this and you want to do that. And, and there's an aim, you know, you're aiming at something. Yeah. We're not aiming, we never aim at anything. We just aim at playing music. This is all we do, you know? So those songs you were saying at the, before were the song of that moment, that particular moment. And if you, if you listen to them, they, they have a line under them. You know, which uh, they, they are, you can tell they're from the same album, you know, because it's, they are from the same moment, from the same. Uh, the, uh, a little different is Maestro de la Voce. Maestro de la Voce came a little bit, a little after. Uh, and you can tell uh, on the record of Maestro de la Voce, you know, the, all the songs are of that moment, so that particular moment. And it's always like that with BFM. This is what's great to play in this band, you know, because. Each time we say, okay, let's try, let's, let's start a new album. Uh, and no one of us know how it's going to be until we, <laughs> until we start and, and until we start working, you know. Yeah, the, the little frame, I just, I want to sing a little frame. Just the way, that's the way, I like it. <laughs> yeah, so you never had any pressure, sorry. That's you never had to do that. Uh, yeah, you never had any pressure, I, I assume, from the record companies in Italy, in America. Asylum, I think, was the record company. Yeah, yeah, at the time, yeah. At the time, yes. Manticore, yeah, okay. Oh, but, but Manticore in it, England. Exactly. Is, was there ever a Maria? Is Maria oh, real? Uh, uh, I'm sorry? Maria, Dolcissima Maria. Does she exist? Dolcissima <laughs> Maria, yeah. Uh, okay, we, we never really had any pressure. Um, sometimes record companies, they want to make money, you know, they, they want to they wanna sell records. Mm -hmm. So uh, at a certain point, BFM was doing very well in America. We had a record in the charts and things like that. So the record company was expecting us to do a, a new album, which was very similar to the one we just had done, you know, and which was, go which was going very well. Uh, and you know what we did at the moment? Uh, we did the jazz album, we did Jet Lag, which is a very difficult album. And obviously we didn't have the same results, but the record company may have been right that if we had done a record which sounded like the one before, we would have sold more records. But who knows if today we would still be here, still be playing, still can't wait to go on stage, because it's always like that. This is the story of PFM, you know? PFM just want to play. We did over 6,000 concerts in our career and we can't wait for the, the, the next one. This is because we just play what we care, what we want. We always say, we used to say, uh, how is the, the, the next album? Oh, is the, the best. The best is what we have to do, the next one, not what we um, um, uh, printed the, the, the ones before, you know? I mean, the next album is the best. Yeah, and, and I have to say that uh, we never really had pressure. We just, you know, we, you could tell that the record company were trying, trying very, very carefully to tell us that maybe it would be great if we had another song like uh, Celebration or like this or like that, but we never really had pressure. Yeah, we don't like to do the imitation of PFM. We want to be PFM. <laughs> By the way, I, I, I wanted to mention that Celebration was used as a music uh, background for a football a segment of a news report back in the 70s here oh. in Chile. It's very funny. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah. yeah, I don't know the association they did. I have another question here. Uh, how close have you or uh, other band members been to other rather very popular Italian bands? Some of my favorites are Goblin, uh, you know, uh, Neutrals, Banco, Gli Illuminogeni, that I think are newer, Locanda delle Fates, I really love. Is there a, has there ever been like a community? Do you ever no, interact? No, no. Well, we, they all are friends, you know, we, ne we never, PFM is together for 50 years, you know, so we didn't have really long time, uh, any time to, 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 to play. The only, the only guy who had uh, 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 something to do with another band was, was me, with Aria. You know, yep, when I, yeah. I did the, the first record of Aria and, uh, and I, I started the, the Aria story and then uh, I joined BFM. Um, that's about the, 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 only, the only time 
we had to do some one of us had to do something with another band if not you know we always we, we never had any any musical uh, communication with anybody they're yeah. all friends of us of ours obviously yeah we are all friends but sometimes it happened that we play in a big uh, concert as a, a Prague exhibition in Italy in La, in uh, Rome it was uh, <clears throat> A few days, a few years ago, and um, we meet all together because it was a big festival. Some some festival we meet, but everybody has his uh, way of life, and um, it, it, just we are friends, you know. Mm -hmm. Now, um, Story di un minuto launched PFM into stardom, so to speak, being famous internationally. Do you feel that there are other albums in your long story that? you feel became milestones or that are were meaningful uh, well, well all of them are meaningful i know <laughs> yeah. well cook was definitely a very important album yeah very very important because cook gave the idea of of what pfm is you know we are we we, we are uh, uh say I, i hate this word but like a progressive band and most of progressive band writes everything they, they, they play. Everything is written, you know? It's like a, a music, uh, it's like classical music almost. And PFM is very different. Uh, we do write, we do write things, we do write arrangements and everything, but we improvise a lot. So what Cook gave to the audience, especially in America, was that uh, a progressive band can improvise a lot. As the jazz players. And that's, that, that, that was the very important thing of Cook, you know? Cook has uh, at least 25% of it is improvised. Hmm. It's surprising, it's, it's surprising. Uh, I am not a musician, you know, I'm just a music fan. Uh, I thought that the concept behind progressive was to always progress and never know really the, 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 a clear way, but it's my yeah. impressions. Yeah. You're right, you're absolutely, absolutely right. This is uh -huh. exactly the way we think, we think. And this is the uh -huh. way we bring ourselves. But most of the time, when people think about progressive music, they think about the way it was in the 70s, you know, and uh, those things, you know, written and everything, this, this, this sort of classical stuff, you know. Uh, and this is not what we think, you know. If, if today you play music like that, it's not progressive, it's reg regressive, maybe, because it's music of... 50 years ago, 45 years ago, you know? So this is, this is the way we, so I think this is what's very important with Cook. Cook really gave the, 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 the exact picture of what PFM is. And what about uh, um, your relationship with a very dear musician to everyone? I had the great pleasure of working with him. I was their interpreter, Emerson Lincoln Palmer. What about Greg Lake and Pete Sinfield, those days becoming, you know, singing in English and reaching overseas audiences? Do you have any special memories about these Mantico years and memories of Greg, especially? Oh, we had a lot of uh, things in our mind, you know. We was very close with uh, with Greg and, uh, and Pete, of course. Pete, because he wrote our lyrics. And uh, with the lyrics of Pete, the, P the PFM started to fly, you know because uh, the lyrics was fantastic. And uh, the album was Photos of Ghost. And uh, I mean, uh, we, we did a special work with him because uh, he has a cl clear ideas with us. He loved PFM because it's um, more, more hot as a band, more Mediterranean band. And so he, he, he gave to us uh, a lot of his experience with uh, King Crimson and make us very grow up very very quickly, and Greg and Greg with us was very like, like a brother, you know. He he, get, he fell in love with BFM when he went to, in Rome. We played the concert together. He was uh, coming to see the band because he, he was uh, founding the uh, Manticore. the Manticore. And uh, they need a uh, they need a, uh, call, uh, the band and musician to to put on and the, <clears throat> the label. Uh, on the label. And so he came in London to see with his eyes PFM playing because he received from our manager a special cassette 
where we played 20% of the skits and men. He was so impressed about this cassette that he says, I want to, want to see the band. And he came in, in Rome, come to see PFM. And he was so surprised. And at the end, they started to make a jam session with us. I would like to have, unfortunately, I don't have, but I would like to have this tape with Greg playing with us. <laughs> a oh. big session. Oh. Uh, in a style, as Patrick said before, in a style of uh, uh, of the album we did, uh, Cook, you know, in the same style of Cook, we did a big in, uh, jam session with him. It was fantastic. Yeah. And he, he, you know, he signed the band, and uh, all the rest is a story. Yeah, we and we we, we played with we played with them once at the Charlotte Speedway Festival in the in the, in, the, in the states in in, uh, in Charlotte. And uh, it was a very, very large concert, like 280,000 people, something like that. You know, it was a very, very, very large concert. It was great. And we were good, very good friends with uh, Keith Emerson, too. Uh, Keith Emerson uh, was a big fan of PFM. And we, were, we always were very honored by his interest in the band, you know? And, uh, and uh, but... Greg is the guy we saw most of the time because he was the one taking care of the label more than the others. Well, thank you. Um, could you ever meet, talking about people that maybe were relevant or are relevant in your work, uh, Robert Moog? Because, you know, there's so much Moog in the music of PFM and we really <laughs> love that. Maybe you met Mr. Moog sometime, I don't know. No, unfortunately, yeah. we never did. We never did, uh -huh. but... But uh, um, in, especially in Italy, you know, we were the, the, the very first song we did was Impressioni di Settembre had a, a very important Moog uh, sort of. motif inside. Mm -hmm. And, um, and th through, this, through this song, uh, Moog, the mini Moog became a very popular instrument in Italy. So we had a very special story but it was more like for the distributor for Moog in Italy than for that from uh, Mr. Moog, Robert Moog, you know, that we never met. Okay, Claudio, I want to Yeah, so I, I did have the opportunity, thank you very much. I did have the opportunity to listen to the slide to uh, Per Un Amico, uh, Le Sole di Niente, Histori Don Minuto. Oh, those are fabulous, those are classic, you know. Music. The, at the time when you guys were putting that together in the early 70s, were you in contact with or you admire bands like King Crimson of Genesis that help you develop your own style, your, your PFM style? But I, I see influence. Well, you, you know, the, the, it was just the, the beginning of an era. Yeah. And uh, those bands you're talking about uh, were the. They, they, they were the, the, the actors of that era, you know, because first of all, they came from England, yeah. which was at the time, uh, and which is probably still is for certain things, uh, which, which was the, the, the birth of music at the time, you know, the, the new music, especially uh, music like progressive music, because it, it's not, it, there was pop music or very easy music, easy listening music, you know, and for the first time, uh, like Emerson and Palmer, people like that came out with this great music, and we were good musicians at the time. So when we listened to those this music, we said, "Hey, man, maybe the time has come that we can do a band playing what we what we have in mind, what we like, what we like, <laughs> and that uh, we never did before. Because if we did the we, if you did this sort of music, you just wouldn't wouldn't work, you know." So this was the start of the whole thing. And, uh, but we never, we never, we, we, we were not really influenced by, those, by those, those bands because we are very different as maybe sometimes some things here and there. Well, let let me tell you general. something. The first time that Genesis came in Italy to play, uh, they played, they was not so unknown, you know? Um, so famous because they start and so it was the first time and we played together in the same show, you know. Oh, and, wow. Uh, and uh, I can remember when you, just things, I usually uh, at the time 
uh, I play drum and I have just one song that I sing, not playing a drum. And it is a dove e quando, because there is not a drum, so I came out and I sing that song. And uh, what happened that when the Genesis came up after hours, because we opened the show and after it was the Genesis playing the, the second part of the show, I saw that uh, the drummer Kate, uh, came from the drummer, he came inside and sing just one song because they have a song with no drum. I go to this guy, this was uh, uh, Phil Collins. <laughs> I didn't know him. He said, hey, I'm Franz, if I'm Phil, and say, oh, you, uh, nice your song. I said to him, he said, oh, your your song is nice too. You should, <laughs> you, you should sing more. If I, you too have, should sing more, you know. <laughs> Amazing story because what happened that the yeah. drum can play and can, and can sing. And so uh, there is not, uh, uh, you know, was just a case of the, uh, in, in that concert. Because it's a Combination. It's a combination that well, we meet at the time and uh, both of us play and sing, you know? Is, is, is there any, anywhere that recording at all, somebody tape it or? No. No, at, at the time with cassette or no? Yeah, at the time there is no that change. No, no recording, no photos. <laughs> no, nothing. no recording, no photos, nothing. When I think about what happened, you know, since the, 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 the cellular phones and things like that everybody take pictures of everything but at the time you didn't if you didn't have a, a camera a heavy camera and everything you couldn't just take pictures you know so the, there are very very few pictures of many many things which happened to us yeah and it's, yeah. And it's a shame in a way that would be beautiful to capture, yeah. to capture yeah. that. Two, two days ago a friend of us sent to us a photo and there is a patrick and with this, uh, with Amazon and Palmer, we never saw that. It was fantastic. Yeah, yeah. 25 years later, we can have a, po a, a photo. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. I, I, I love, by the way, the, the outfit with the purple, with the two jacket and the flowers in the back. Yeah. You know, it's beautiful, beautiful your city. I'm, I'm, I'm glad. Where you, what was the reason and there was any pressure to sing some album in English? Um, Mm, not really. We we had, we were supposed to sing in English because uh, the PFM was becoming an international band, yeah. and English is the is the language is the language you you want to sing. Uh, so we had to. It was not that easy for us, especially at the beginning. Now maybe things are a little better, but at the time it was not that easy. And uh, but you know what happened is that many times, especially in South America, for example. Uh, people rather listen to us sing in Italian. Yeah. They prefer yeah. when you sing in Italian than when we sing in English, you know, somehow. Uh, so many times they are in Japan too. In Japan too, yeah. In Japan it happens all the time because probably uh, maybe in a way uh, the language... Uh, I mean, the sound of the language... The sound of the language is much more similar to Italian than to English, uh, you know, especially... Spanish or, or, or languages from the South, from South South America, but even even Japanese sounds more like Italian than for that uh, English. Yeah. yeah, thank you very much. I appreciate it. And uh, like Christian mentioned, I, I did have the opportunity to, to listen uh, yesterday morning the emotional tattoos album, and it, it's beautiful. It's very different. So if, if somebody were to give you 20 records on PFM year by year, right? And they don't tell you that it's PFM. Someone wouldn't know that it's the same band because it's, there is an evolution. There are different people. You know, this person was there, that person wasn't there. Lucio was there, then and Marco, then Roberto, and so the word. And, 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 and it's an evolution of one well, now, 50 yeah, years yeah. or so. And, and then it's, 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 it's very different. So it, it, you never know what, what to expect with PFM because every album, it's much different from the previous one and so on. The yeah, way. this is what we were saying before, you know, and it's the same for us. The, the very first audience of PFM is our, is, it's us. We are, we are the, the very first audience of PFM. I mean, we need to surprise ourselves before. <laughs> so, you know, you know, we have to, we have to, we are musicians. I mean, this is the, our first, before to be an artist, before to be whatever, we are musicians. 
so we we love to play and 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 we just want to we just want to play different things you know and and i tell you one thing as i said before we did over 6000 concerts in our career but we never did two concerts the same never right. i never played right. celebration the same way never 6000 times i always change something i always change maybe a not here not there and we all do, we all do that so sometimes it can it comes great sometimes uh, it could be a mistake or whatever nobody cares sometimes about sometimes it's it. great great yeah mm -hmm. nobody cares about it but it gives us the joy to be on stage every night yeah. because we we always want to say let's see what's going to happen tonight let's see how we're going to play and uh, and and i think this is yeah. what, when, many times they said what's the secret PFM secret, you know, to be around after all these years and to be st and still being uh, uh, playing all over the world and things like that. There's no secret. It's just the only thing is that we just have fun to be on stage. That's all. It's yeah. the only secret we have. Yeah, yeah and have fun. And, and, and also the other, the other reason is that you don't have like a label behind you putting pressure on you. You need to be this kind of style. You need to be in Spanish. You need to be in English. We want to reach an audience for the people in the 40s who play like Genesis, play like Pink Floyd or whatever. So yeah. you, you you do what you like and the way you like it. So that, that's, yeah, that's this the best is, way to. This is what, what we always wanted to do. And we always did it. We never, we never had pressure from anybody. Uh, yeah. They tried many times to, not very heavily. They yeah. tried a little bit to give us a little bit of pressure, but they would surrender immediately because they knew <laughs> that we wouldn't do it, yeah. you know, anyway. That's right. So we just, anyway, the way to be happy is, uh, um, you have to do what you like. It. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. yeah. There's yeah. a band that's the one said that blind faith, do what you like. Do you remember oh, that? That's it. That's it. <laughs> yeah. It's, 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 the, it's the main uh, purpose of a musician. Since, you know, you start to be a musician when you're a kid and you don't, you don't really know what's going to be your life. You know, you, you might get married and had, then have to quit playing, you know, to work or to, to you never know. But the only purpose you have, we you have, is to have fun. This is why everybody's playing. This is why because it's a joy to play. It's it's a pleasure. It's a joy. And when it's not anymore a pleasure to play because you have to play the same stuff every night, then it becomes the worst job in the world, because it's a, it, it's a it's it's a job that you do with your heart, you know. And if you have to do every day the same thing with your heart. It's not, it doesn't come from your heart anymore. So it's it's the worst thing which can, ha can happen to us. So we, we we always, we never we never really said, oh, well, this is how we want to do. It, it just happened like that. This is the way we are. You know, we, we don't we don't work on it. It's just the way we are. Uh, the perspiration. What do you think? There's a, our theory that yeah, is yeah, going yeah. to explain. There's, there's something, something we always this say. This theory, okay? Yeah, this, we always say, you know, they always say, uh, what's inspiration, you know? Uh, how, 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 how do you do a song? How, how, do, how do you start playing? How, how does it come, you know? Every answer. How, how can you have inspiration? Here's the answer. Well, this inspiration is just the start. It's 1%. 1%. 99% is perspiration. All right. Mm -hmm. So this is the way it is. You know, you start, you have a little, a little, a little bit of like a, a match, you know, going like that and, and, and just a little, a little, very, very sparkle. And from that sparkle, 1% inspiration, 99% perspiration. 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 Yeah. Is our, yeah. uh, and obviously, is our oh, sorry. Recipe. This is our recipe for doing a, to do an, a good album. How do you say recipe in Italian? Recetta in Spanish. Ricetta. 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 Okay. Well, um, uh, I suppose that behind everything is love for music. Same as me and Claudio that are having this contact with you. Fantastic chance we waited for many years. Uh, it's love for music, passion for music, what moves you till today. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah uh, sure, sure. We always were like this all the time. And, and you know what's funny in BFM is that we are many of us. Uh, we were many of us in the in the years, you know. Then PFM has changed, you know. But now we were different. Uh, Franz and myself, we're still here, but but we all love music. But we all love different music. This is what's great, because each member of PFM 
we don't we don't listen to the same music we don't we don't love the same music each one of us like some music some sort of music personally i, I love jazz uh, or, or classical music france is more into classical music and rock and roll uh, someone else is more into something else you know but what's great with bfm is we we have, we have very much respect one for the one from the other and if one of us comes out with this with an idea which comes from his background, his his personal background, we always listen to him. We always listen to each other because this is how PFM did so many kind of different music because it comes from the music each one of us has inside. This is how we can, we could do Jet Lag, which is a jazz album, and we could do PFM in classic. Yes, yeah, and classic grow album. up, and we grow up. You classical know? album, you know. This is and we grow up. I think mm -hmm. some of the PFM music is like a rainbow. There's a lot of colors of <laughs> things coming, <laughs> mixing. That's a nice, me nice metaphor. It is. Uh, now, I was going to mention a couple. Well, uh, first, uh, Franz, I, was, I wanted to ask you if the song that uh, you liked Phil Collins singing solo is more Fool Me. Remember uh, the song? Is that, no. that's, that's the one song that they played on Selling England by the Pound. The, the 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 guitar and Phil singing only. Yeah. Uh, solo solo la guitarra e Phil Collins cantava. One for me. Uh, one for me. No me ricordo. Uh, he uh, can't remember that. I can't remember. Not, the song. The song. The, I mean the song that he said to Phil Collins that he yes, liked. That probably was there, you know. Okay. And, yeah, and I was. If he sang it on stage by himself. You know, it's probably that one. I, I, uh -huh. I, I guess that the Phil Collins is not remember that my song is called Dove e Quando. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly not. And uh, there's a connection between this uh, occasion. When, where, what year was that when you played with Genesis? When and where? When and where? When and where? Yeah. Uh, no, dove che abbiamo suonato quando e quando? Abbiamo suonato quando e quando sono venuti la prima volta in Italia? Non ricordo. I don't remember. Uh, the year. They come the first time in probably Italy. Probably 72, 73. Something. Yeah. For the uh, nursery crime tour, I guess it was. Uh, um, yeah, doesn't matter. Now that there's this this man, this fantastic man that to, took made memories for all the fans. Uh, Armando Gallo is that yeah, Armando or? Gallo? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's the magician that captured all those amazing moments that Gabriel yeah. and the band offered. I know, uh, I know him. We know him very well. Was ah, very that, that, yeah. I was going to ask you about that relation. Uh, how, Armando in what way are you connected? We we get Armando with us the first time we get we going in in, uh, in America yeah, and it came, came with us because <laughs> it, he was in uh, in England. But it's a really sports boring in England. In England, you know, he said, "Yeah, we're going to tour in America. You would like to come with us and do the official uh, um, mm. photographer of us for this tour?" Oh, yeah, sure. He did the first photo, fantastic photos, and he decided to uh, move to America, move from Ameri from uh, England, and came and live in uh, USA. Yeah, and still is there. And when we then we. We was in America last time, it's two years or three years ago, I don't remember. We played in Los at, Angeles. Came in Los Angeles, we came because uh, <clears throat> we played in the same club. We, we did the, the debut and he was with, with us and says, I can I can miss this uh, uh, this anniversary, you know, that PFM plays again in uh, the whiskey and the whiskey that it in was. A fantastic uh, club. Yeah, we were very close to we were very close to Armando for for many 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 years. Do you have? Did he ever make pictures of you, the band of PFM? I suppose yeah, yeah, thousands of them. Yes, yeah, thousands. Of them. Uh, thousands. Of them. He, he was our our, our official uh, photographer. Uh, the official okay. the pictures you have in uh, in Cook is uh, in Cook, Armando. You know, it's Armando's pictures. Okay. Now, uh, Italy has one of the strongest music traditions. And worldwide legacy, I should say, uh, opera. You know, I, I don't, I don't have to explain to you. Uh, yeah. How did the media receive PFM at first? I mean, did you ever feel things would be better outside Italy? Uh, where were you really more successful at, at the beginning? Uh, because your music was not easy, I, I suppose, for the, the times. You know, we, we we never really thought of that. You know, we were, we were just. It's funny, you know. 
sometimes you're a band and when you when you really like what you do and you have fun doing what you do and everything you don't really are aware of what's, what's happening around yourself around the band you know so we were everything for us was normal it was like we we when we came I mean, for a, for an Italian band to play in, in the States or to play in England, you know, in London or uh, uh, in those, at the, we, at the, uh, we, we played at the, how do you call it? The Royal Alberto. The Royal Alberto, right? places like that. You know, it's amazing for an Italian band to play there. But for us, it was normal. But not because we thought it was normal, but because this, this was just what was surrounding us. Okay. Yeah. But it was not the important thing. The important thing for us was to play. And so whatever, whatever happened, it was okay. It's just for us, it was okay. We never, we never were amazed. We, we, never, we were never uh, surprised. Uh, everything was just okay. It was cool. We just had, when when we we had problems, um, maybe maybe we the, in the states we had some uh, political problems because of the political matters of the time and things like that. Well, well it's okay. We we didn't really care, you know. We just we, we just wanted to play. Yeah. Also, but because in America we change uh, every night, we change uh, a city, we change uh, <clears throat> a place where we play, and uh, sometimes change also band because uh, in America I used to have. Uh, top of the bill um, <clears throat> and uh, three bands in general in a show. This is the opening act. Um, the second, the second band that is the band important that <clears throat> is uh, in tour with a big one. So we used to play with a lot of bands and we met, meet and, and it was really into the way of uh, life in American style of the music and all the bands. So we was very happy to play in every place. We play in, in America, wherever, from uh, California to also we play one night we play with ZZ Top, for example. Uh -huh. Wow. The first concerts we did in the, in the American, it was not in America actually, it was in Canada, I think. It was with... Uh, um, Poco. No, 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 I prima, I prima, 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 con i cosi. Con Jay guys. No, 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 no. I, the Beach Boys. Beach Boys. We play with Beach Boys. We play with Jagger's band. We play with uh, Santana. Santana. Many, 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 many bands. But the first one was the Beach Boys, and that was a big hit. <laughs> I mean, we went, but for us it was normal. We did. We, we never thought that. It Just be, because you learn something. Every band we we had we working with, you know, we. Just a bit, was a, a story that we have inside us, you know. Us. We we learn the way to to be musician out of our country. I mean, a worldwide musician, not just Italian. That we learn. All right. Now, um, uh, about the, the the structure of the music of PFM, especially the early albums. I don't know if it was, for example, Mauro Pagani who coined the idea of, you know, combining classical with rock and some jazz, or is there any other band, band members that were classically trained? I think Mauro was. Uh, we all were, in a way. Classical music in Italy is, uh, it, it's, it's, it's just, a, it's a bread. <laughs> it's the music for everybody. You know, it's, we, we are, when you're a musician, you're always, you're always inside, you always get wet with classical music somehow. So uh, um, we all we, we all worked this way. Um, but as, as I said before, some some of us were a little more inclined into jazz music. Some of us were a little more inclined into classical. Some of us into rock. Some of us into uh, uh, world music. Although at the time it was very 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 start of it. And, uh, and this is what made PFM uh, do all this sort of different music all the time, is that everybody was carrying something and, and, and bringing something to the band, you know? Bringing something in the middle, say, hey, I had this idea, what do you think of it? Oh yeah, it's, it's great, now let's put, I had this idea too, so let's put it together and see what happens. And this is how it always worked. And this is why sometimes it's very strange because it has in the same song, uh, classical influence, jazz influence, rock influence, everything together. Okay. 
Hey, you you mentioned before six thousand show. You you must have crazy stories. You know, what are the top two things weird things that happen either in South America, in Tokyo, United States, Europe? You gotta you you gotta quite after six thousand shows, a lot of weird things happen, right? Yeah. Any 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 one in particular where yeah, or two stories that you can share with the audience here? Oh yeah, well we have so many, so many stories. Oh, just uh, the, the first thing which comes to my mind. Uh, before France was was saying that uh, we played with ZZ Top once, you know. Well, we did. We had to do three or th three or four gigs with ZZ Top, and uh, ZZ Top was a very different band, you know. It had nothing to do with PFM, you know. No, so, one day you play with Santana, the day after we play with ZZ Top. Exactly. You can imagine in our minds that's what happened. Yeah, you no, know? but for us it get crazy. It, it didn't change much, you know, because we had to play like twenty minutes or, or maybe half an hour because we were playing as an opening act at the time. So we we didn't really we didn't really care that we, we were just playing the, the heavier heaviest part of our show you know for half an hour, so it was fine with the, the ZZ Top audience, but once it happened that uh, ZZ Top had a car accident, nothing serious, but they, they they had a car accident and they couldn't get to the show you know they couldn't get to the gig, so uh, but the, the audience was inside already it was it, it was in the in the in the in the venue. And uh, so the promoter came to us and said, uh, okay, obviously we redo the concert and we will refund the tickets and, and people or, or else the people can use the tickets to come to new concerts we do with the ZZ Top. But since we are here, why don't you play the whole thing? Why don't you play the whole show? And then we said, what? <laughs> the, wait a minute, uh, this is heavy because this is ZZ Top audience. And ZZ Top audience is much different. And to, to go to sing uh, Dolcissima Maria and songs like that with those ZZ Top audience, uh, it's not that easy. And we just did it. And we did an hour and a half or almost two hours of music, you know, and they weren't great. And the, the, the audience was, was really happy about it. So uh, th th this, this is the magic of music, you know. Once maybe you go, you want to listen to something because you paid to listen to something. And for some reason, you listen to something else. But if it's good, you just have fun and you just enjoy it. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I noticed also in, in, in the website that um, that uh, you have three shows coming up in, I think, uh, March or so, all in Italy. Um, if, if, if they are, if, you know, assuming that the the pandemic and the virus will go away to come back to the United States, go, go back to South America, Chile in particular. Yeah. yeah, yes, yes, yes. We are we are planning. We are planning, but you you can you can do nothing to now, you know. Yeah, just yeah, planning. yeah we, we don't really know what's gonna happen. So it's but uh, we have contacts with uh, pro, uh, American promoters and things like that. Actually, many, many contacts in this period. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so we are planning to go there and, and we, we just can't wait, you know. For sure, we like to go and play with the people that we like. Yeah. So the, if there is the, the occasion to do the concert, we, we get a fly and we come. You know? Yeah, the only, the only problem is that, you know, to be able to do that, we think that the pandemic situation must be resolved all over the world. Yeah. You know, you can't just resolve it in one country or in two countries or three countries. You can't just wait until America is okay to go to America. The whole world has to be okay, because this is this and this is the worst thing about about this problem. You know, it's not a it's not a single country. Many times in all those in the countries, um, they take the problem as a single country for the economic problem for this and for that. It's not a single country a problem. It's a whole world problem. So we ha we have to resolve this this problem in every country in the world, and this what this is what could take a little time. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we, we hope so. We hope so. Yeah, sure. We would like to do that, but now we are doing a new album. That makes us very happy. Yeah, we make us very happy, and uh, this is uh, you know this is a a new a new situation with the album different from the emotional tattoos so just we have to wait and we come <laughs> yeah remember two cities washington dc for me 
and Santiago Chile for Christian. Okay, they, will, okay. they, will, they will love it. That, that, is, oh, if you yeah. only do two shows, you do that. <laughs> Keep in touch with the Aya, and she. Yeah, I, I will. You bet. You, you bet. Uh, right. She know exactly what I have to say that she has to do. You know? Washington, Washington is a great town, and, and they're both great towns. Yeah. Very, 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 very important towns, and uh, very special too. Uh, they look like they're, they're very, very, very great. They're very two. Both of them are very great towns. So I'm sure we we'll go there. Anyway, if we go to the States, if we, when, no, if, when, when we we'll go to we, the States, we'll include a South America tour. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, sure. Otherwise, Christian is going to get mad. <laughs> I will. <laughs> go ahead, Christian. Okay, now, I, uh, I, I, this is funny because I went to my first two questions, you know, I, I began the other way around. So I wanted to, to ask you about, uh, there's a funny story that maybe you're bored to tell it over and over again, but you haven't told, this, told that to us. I think that Isotta Fracini and oh, Fornaria Marconi and, you know, uh, which was Mauro Pagani's hometown, uh, has a story uh, about the bakery and the final name of the band. I, I, you know, I first began searching, what is the meaning of Premiata? I thought it was a name or maybe, I don't know, so. Yeah. 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 Awarded, awarded Marconi Bakery. That is the meaning, Premiata from Maria Marconi. So the story is this, that uh, we, we had the name uh, of the band before, it was called the Quelli, that in English means of those, you know? Of course, of those, because uh, the name of the band was them who, and you know, and go on. So we said, oh, we can call the name of the band, the best before PFM is called Quelli, that means those. When we decided to change the music and uh, do uh, a, a big jump in a, in a music uh, scene, we decided to change name, but we are looking for something different because everybody at the time in Italy has the name of animals, you know, and uh, the animals was just fucked up, you know, there was no more animals to, to get the name of. And so we decided to have a special name that means we are, uh, workers, the hand workers. Hand workers of our music. So we want to do something like that means uh, as you do the good bread and is the bread is a uh, um, smell of a, uh, you know, something, a suggestion that I mean. So we said, we called uh, a name of something like that. So Isotta Fraschini was a very famous name of uh, a car, made um, the car, a car Isotta Fraschini. So we're doing names like that. It was a very special car, very beautiful, um, hand, hand, handmade car. Handmade car. Time. And so we decided, but Isotta Fraschini was not the, the right situation for the music. So Mauro says that there is a sort of a bakery store. It's called the Forneria Marconi. That Marconi is a very famous name as uh, Guglielmo Marconi. But Marconi is just a, also a surname that some, some other people have in Italy, just not Guglielmo Marconi. And so they decide, uh, it says that uh, Forneria Marconi just because they make the bread and uh, the, the, the name was uh, amazing. Our producer at the time, says, but you have to put something because we being a session man in Italy of the top of session man players, because we play for a lot of records of other artists, but we, we never had the, the idea to put all our ideas in a band, in a new band, not in Quelli band, but in a new band. So the new band must have a name important. I mean, that means, uh, and doing something with the heads, then it must be very fresh. It must be also taste good. You know, all those adjectives put in, in the, the title, it comes in the, and this promote this um, manager says it, you just to put a word that, that because you are the best session player in Italy. So do something like to put your image on the top. So we decided to play Premiata, Forneria, Marconi. But when we went in England, nobody was very, they make difficult to, 
to say, to speak Premiata for Americo, and they say Premiati in Econi for something like that, you know, not very. And so Pete Simphy says, hey, do it like that, PFM, that's all, you know, the acronym that works very better than Premiata for Maria Marconi. And I have to say that Premiata for the, um, this Premiata thing in the, in the, at the beginning of uh, the name of the store or shop, you know, was something which was pretty uh, used pretty often in Italy. And it was a, a sort of a, a, an excellence for, for a, a shop, you know, when you had a shop for many years and you had a very successful shop and, and, and handmade stuff and everything, very often it was called Premiata and then whatever the shop was. Okay, okay. interesting story. Yeah, uh, now um, about the Equelli that you mentioned, I, I read, uh, because I, I have to say that I haven't heard the, the recordings, you were uh, doing uh, cover versions of people like uh, Michel Polnareff and Aphrodite's yeah, yeah. Child, and then you went to work with uh, Mina and Lucio Battisti, and then you came with that, you, you came out with Impressione di Settembre, which was, uh, you know, the beginning of it all. Uh, uh, do you have any memories about the, 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 the going from one from one moment to the other in your story? I don't know if the story is, if the question is yeah. clear. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know, it, it happened like, okay, the Quelli were, as musicians and as a band too, were very uh, requested by our other artists to play in their records. We don't, we didn't, we didn't do just uh, Battisti and Mina, we did most of the Italian uh, uh, biggest artist of the time, PFM is playing, you know. At a certain point, like in the, in the 10 records in the charts, we played in nine of them, you know. So once, uh, at, at a certain point, we decided, we said, hey, we, we should just, uh, now that this new music is coming out and we have the opportunity to do something different, maybe it's the, the time has come that we play our music and we play what we want to play. And this no more covers, and no more, more covers. no more covers. But our music changing a name, you know, I get this uh, um, decision because I want to change my life. We said that, you know, it was the best, uh, the best session man in uh, for the discography, you know, for the record companies. But with our uh, record, the, the covers that you said that you mentioned before, that was not very satisfied about that you know yeah, so we said we have to do our music yeah, you don't go anywhere you no know anywhere. if you play if you play some other people music you know you just have to play your music and so this is what happened and this is why we changed name too because we wanted to change totally personality we, we just we just wanted to become something else we just wanted to become what we were supposed to be you know and 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 this is why we started with a, a funny name like Premiata Foneo Marconi, which at the time was very, very strange. I mean, now, after PFM had success in Italy, many, many bands had names like that, like as you said and before. You said you before, know? you know, a lot of bands take a yeah. name with long, very long, very long. Yeah, so <laughs> this is what happened because PFM started, but at the very beginning, PF, Premiata Foneo Marconi was a, was a crazy name, you know? But we wanted to start a new start. We wanted a new start, in new music, uh, everything was, was supposed to be new. And uh, we just tried. And you know what's funny is that Impressione di Settembre was the B-side of our first, uh, of our first uh, 45 uh, single. Same. It was the B-side. The, the A-side was La Carrozza di Hans, which was more into the music we thought would, would be ours, you know, <laughs> uh, it, it, but Impressione di Settembre became a huge hit in Italy, so thank you. <laughs> well, uh, there's a story that we have in Chile that's similar to yours, the B-side thing. Uh, there's, the, if not the most, I think it's the most popular classical rock and fusion band, uh, which is, they've been living in Italy, they, during the 70s, was Haivas, uh, and they, they did this uh, single, with Ayer Cache, which means uh, I realized yesterday, and the B-side was everybody together, Todos Juntos. That Todos Juntos song is the B-side, and that's what launched their career, and it's yeah. almost a second national anthem. It's amazing. Yeah, um, it happens many yeah. times. It, it happens, happens many yeah. Times. 
because of DJs, you know, that's that happened to me because I, I sometimes began playing songs because I liked them, and then everybody wanted to go and buy the record, and that's incredible. The, the power of uh, playing music on a radio station too. Now, um, uh, I was going to mention this is not a question, uh, Patrick and uh, 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 Franz. I'm yeah. truly amazed by the interesting and careful combination of colors, the, the clothes you're wearing with the flowers in the stairs. <laughs> is this just a coincidence? The purple type of clothes and the flowers in the stairs are purple too. Yeah, how uh, come? Okay. <laughs> I, 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 I'm going to tell you something—a secret now. Uh -huh. Our clothes are not purple; they are oh. black. But my uh, <laughs> my camera is fucked up, so we come up with a, <laughs> really <come> purple. <laughs> yeah, we come up with purple, but we're not purple; we're black. You know, my <laughs> God, man! Yeah, but the camera somehow—I don't know why—but. Uh, <laughs> Uh, the, the, anyway, it's interesting. Yeah. It's called, uh, the flowers are, are, are real. I mean, they're not real flowers. I don't know what, what they're from, plastic probably, but they are flowers. Okay, yeah. they're green. But this is not black. This is not purple. This is black. Sorry but, to. Uh, <laughs> the fi no, the final accident is amazing. It's everything yeah, is like in a movie. Right. Don't don't change don't change the camera. Keep it like that. Uh, yeah, we keep it like that. It's yeah. not the first time it happens. You know, many times yeah. we. Do Interviews or things like that, we play the music, and they always uh -huh. say, "Wow, oh, nice color." <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, the last thing I uh, well, yeah. first I thank. Sorry, it's not your teacher, yellow. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I I think I'm. Uh, it's my kind of goodbye uh, mention. Thank you so much for your time for the fantastic okay. soundtrack to everyone's lives you've given us along the years, and I I had the luck, the good luck to work on Radio Concierto FM, which was back in the 70s and 80s, the most relevant station. And we had a, a deal with the BBC. And one of the typical records we would play every now and then was PFM or Premiata Forneria Marconi yeah. live at the BBC. Do you have any plans oh, okay. to release those, those uh, yeah. recordings? I think they were released. They, um, were, released. they were released in uh, the BBC, BBC sessions. Uh, in England somehow. The, uh, I think you can find them on, on the YouTube maybe or or whatever. Okay. These were these were something else. It was yeah. a very good period for us. We were playing very well. And BBC had a great, great studio. And uh, so they, they did, uh, the recordings were incredible. And you know, when we did All Grey Whistle Test, the night we did All Grey Whistle Test was the first night they had it live. Before they used to record it, mix it, and then broadcast it. Uh, that particular uh, night, that that day, that night we did it, that day, that evening we did it. It was the first time that it was live. Uh, so we did it live, and it it came out just incredible. And they recorded it, and we listened to it after that, and we said, "Wow, it sounds better than a studio, another regular studio," because they had they had they were very very professional and yeah. they really know what, they really know what they're doing and they had you know they they had bands coming from everywhere they had the best bands of those days and is there any filming any 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 movie of of those days yeah, like yeah, sure. uh, yeah? No, yeah two or three two or three probably. yeah yeah they are if you look at look, look at them on youtube you find them if you, you put the like bbc pfm you, you probably can find them but I mean, you're, you're not planning, is there any chance that you're going to release that officially or is it we a problem? Release, we can release because it's a, a BBC property. Mm. Okay, okay. Well, thank you again, Mr. Friends yeah. and, you know, Patrick. Thank you very much. I hope that you keep playing forever and I hope thank to meet you, you here. Because okay, the first time okay. I had my intention of meeting you, but I couldn't. So if you come again, I hope that we can say hello in person. Thank you very much yeah. for the time. It's a pleasure. Ciao. Thank you. Yeah, so much. thank you. That was uh, our interview with uh, BFM. Thank you very much for your for your time and uh, for energy and uh, grazie mille. And we, we hope to see you. Remember, Washington, D.C. and Santiago, Chile. That's a promise. Santiago, Chile, Washington, D.C. It will be and, nice. and then I, I, will be, I, will, I will be in touch with Laura and I will send her, send her the, the audio and the recording so you can keep it for your record. And, and uh, thank you again for you for your time. Okay. Have okay. a good evening. Thank you, Christian. Sure. Thank you sure. very sure. much. Sure. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you, thank you. See you very thank soon. You. I hope. You bet. I hope so. Yeah.